Raj Sangha of Cardiff Security, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Cars and Coffee event at CAS HQ. So today it's all about classic BMs, loads of classic cars here. I've got my coffee, let's have a walk around, look at some of the cars, show you some of the cars and as usual focus on maybe two or three cars and speak to the owners and listen to their journey. So let's get on with it. Right guys, let's have a little walk around in the car park. Obviously I've got my classic BMs out, it is a classic BM meet, so I need to get my cars out, my 36 M3, my E30 M3, and obviously my E24 635 CSI. Behind me, another E30, there's a sea of E30s out today. I mean, check out this lovely E30 M3, but you know what? Just look at that, E24 635 CSI. Now that belongs to a good friend of mine. He's actually the guru of E24 6 Series Sharks. So let's get Cos on the channel. Cos, how are we doing? I'm good, Raj. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for coming. Now, Thank I've you for already, the invite. Cheers. I've already bigged you up on the channel. And you are, in my eyes, the guru of E24 shark noses. Anything <laughs> E24 related, I always ask you first. And this is true. As I've already said, the reason I'm into my E24 is because of you. Now, talk to me about this car. I know you've had this a long time. Yeah, the story's kind of well known with this car. Um, Marlban purchased it back in 89 when it was three years old from MLG in Chiswick. Used it as a daily for a few years and semi-retired the car. Back around 2007, he tossed me the keys and he said, the car's yours. So what I did when I got the keys, gave it a light recommission. Where it had been parked up and not used too often. Sure. Basically just reconditioned it, water pump, radiator, fluids, and then wheeled it down to a mate's body shop. We gave it a paint job. A lot of people think the car's been restored, but it hasn't. It's just been paint, paint and trims. What red is this? This is Zinnabar, Zinnabar okay. red. Okay. So that was around 2008 and 2012. Did the suspension, lowered it, the ACT split rims. Again, it was more of a mechanical overhaul rebuilt the cylinder heads. This this is in fantastic condition, guys. I, I don't know if it will come through on the screen, but this color is popping. And I haven't even shown you the interior yet. So you've resprayed it, you've changed suspension, you've changed the wheels. Yep. Uh, interior retrim? Interior retrim. Um, that was done by B-Trim a few years back. When I did the retrim, I was super fussy about even the grain of leather went in there. I wanted something that had a bit of texture, a bit of pattern to it. You know, you can see it in this car. Everything lines up, you know, the, the, all the little side trims, everything. These old cars, the rubbers perish, they stretch, all of this. This car, it looks like it's come out of the showroom. It is factory fresh. Now, before I love you and leave you, you work very locally. <laughs> I do. To, uh, an independent dealer that I actually love as well. Where do you work now? I work at Birds. We're an independent BMW specialist. Been around there, well, been established for 30 plus years. So I'm there now, service and workshop manager. So we look after the modern stuff, we look after the classics. Yeah, guys, if, uh, if you want to get your car serviced or uh, modified, uh, Birds BMW details are on the screen now. Cos's details are also on the screen. Hit him up, this car is amazing. Guys, just look over my shoulder. Even more classic BMs, 5 Series Estate, another E30, another E30 convertible. You get the drift. Lovely colour on this E30. Does look really nice. Stands out from the crowd. 840 Ci. These have been on the radar for a little while. One day I will get an 840 Ci. Astoria Blue. I think it's probably one of the best colours on an 840 Ci. Pretty cool. Reg as well there as well. This is the old school BM crew. They're talking about the 80s and the 90s, you know. We're old men now, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, check this out. 36, M3, Tetna Violet, very rare color. 
Vader's proper seats, but you know what, look inside. He's even got an original BMW cell phone. Now that in itself is very rare. Check this out, super rare E28 M5, an original M5. These are very, very, very rare. All original, all original. Don't see many of these about. 2002, that looks pretty cool. Obviously some money's been thrown into that. Whilst we're still on 2002s, check out this 2002 here. Now this belongs to a customer of ours, Tony. Let's get Tony on the channel and let's talk about the journey that he's had on, with this car because I know he has spent a lot of time and a lot of money on this car. Tony, Rob, how are we doing? How are you doing? Thanks for coming. That's all right, thank you. Um, now, bigged you up, so let's talk about this car. It wasn't like this when you bought it. No, 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 no. How long no, you had no. this? I've had it four years now. Okay. Because the car was so rotten. I thought it was beyond going how back to is, OEM. How bad is rotten? Uh, I mean like... Every panel? Like six grand's worth of panels. So it was that bad. That's a number. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was badly, badly rotten. So all new panels, new fenders? Yeah, turbo arches on okay. it. Yeah, aftermarket ones. Yeah. Paint, what color is this? This is full stealth gray. Okay. Everyone goes it's down a bit like a Nardo grey sort of esque Audi colour. Everyone goes down a Nardo route. Yeah. Dare to be different. I've put a Ford colour on it. So. Okay. Why not put a Ford colour on a BM? Yeah. Be different. Uh, <laughs> airlift suspension, obviously. Yeah. Three P installed by you of guys. Of course. Um, wheels. Uh, Oz turbos. Lovely. Aren't they? What yeah. size are these? These 15 inch. They look bigger. Yeah. 15s. It was on BBS RMs. Yes. For a year but everyone's got BBS wheels. Okay. So I thought I'd change it up, and this year it's running on the Oz Turbos. And interior, that's a super fresh interior. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the front seats, they're out of a Mark I Astra GTE. Okay. Cheapest Recaro. So we've got Ford buy. paint, we've got Astra, front seats. Astra seats. Mustang stripes, come on. On a BM, why not? Another E24 635 CSI. This belongs to my friend Rocky. He's just bought this car recently. Again on airlift. Guys, check this out. E30 M3. This belongs to Nev. He's already been on the channel at one of our previous car and coffee events. There's a link on the screen now. Tap that and you can watch that whole episode where I interviewed Nev about this car. A very special E30 325i motorsport convertible in manual, very, very rare, one of 250, and even rarer being manual. Now this belongs to Rocky of Superstar Comps, and I've actually got Rocky here. Rocky, thanks for coming. How are you Raj? I'm good. So let our audience know, what is Superstar Comps? Well, Superstar Comps is um, a competition platform where you can own these cars for a fraction of the price. 20 pounds could win you this car. We've actually got an E30 there, which is one of the first cars we've done. Uh, I think it's, a, it's definitely the first motorsport we've done. But yeah, this car could be won for £20. We're giving it away live at a public event yes. on the 31st of July. Uh, live draw? Live draw. So okay. we'll get the public involved. We might get you up on stage. You lock them, open the laptop up. You can do the live draw. And if the winner's there at the event, we'll sign the car over there and then that's, fill them out. That's amazing. Yeah. Guys, details are on the screen. Make sure you give these guys a, a follow. Make sure you buy some tickets. You could win this car. So many classic BMs here. Behind me, E28, 5 Series. There are a lot of E30s, you know, one here, one there, and even more. Standing next to this gorgeous E30 M3. But you know what? Something that caught my eye when he drove in. I know this car already because I've seen this car before. Beautiful 325i convertible. Belongs to Bambos. Have I pronounced yeah, that correctly? Yeah, you got it right. You okay, it so. Right. He's already bought this car here before to one of our car and coffee events, I think two years ago, yeah. before the showroom was open. That's right, that's right. Now, this car is stunning. It looks like you don't drive it because it's just too clean. That's Am I right? right? You're right. I is it a garage queen? It is, yeah. <laughs> well, credit to you, it looks stunning. And so talk to him about this car. How long have you owned this car? Uh, I've owned the car since 2012. Um, 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. It has had two paint jobs on it. Okay. Uh, First yeah, one, you, you can tell that yeah. the paint is amazing. Uh, 
originally came from BMWs in a, a black, which I wasn't happy with. Had it sprayed, then had it resprayed again. Um, happy with this shade of black. It's quite deep. It's original M2 kit, M Tech 2 yeah, kit. Yeah, original M Tech 2 kit. Um, full leather retrim. Had done a beautiful interior about six years ago by B Trim. Okay. It's amazing. A lot of love has gone into this car. Yeah. And last time I saw it. It was on different wheels. That's right, they were sitting on a BBS RSs. Correct, 16 yeah. inch, stepped up to a 17 inch. Um, it looked great for show, but not that great to drive on. Okay. So, um, Hence why you've switched it up now yeah, to the 17 Alpinas? That's it, I had these commissioned uh, just when lockdown kicked in. I only received them at Christmas. So okay. It was a good Christmas present. Lovely, fantastic. And, um, yeah, wrapped them in the tyres and stuck them on for, the, for today, actually. So, Thank you. No, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the guys, this car is absolutely stunning. Bambossi's details are on the screen. Give him a follow. Uh, credit to you, mate. You've Thank really you. looked after this car. Hopefully, I'll get to see it again soon. Yeah, you will. Maybe not another two years this time. No, yeah. no. Guys, another successful car and coffee event here at Cass HQ. I think this is our fifth or sixth event so far this year. We've got many more planned for the rest of the year. Now, where do you find out about these events? Well, if you go to our website, caraudiosecurity.com, click on the events uh, tab, and you will see when the next event is and what type of event it is. If you want to see some of the stuff that we've already hosted, then there are links to previous videos and there's pictures of some of the cars that were here at the previous car and coffee events. Now, as always, any questions, any comments you have, drop them down below. Which is the car of the show for you? I'll tell you in a second which is my car of the show. As always, like, that's very important, share and subscribe. The car of the show for me, well, I'm standing next to it. Cos's E24 635 CSI. This car is amazing. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll be back on another episode of Cars and Coffee.